friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. This is a pattern that consists of panels A and panels B. So I started my panel A right here, and a piece of it was on this wall. Because I had to end my pattern somewhere strategic. These are 12 foot high walls. You can't end it here, can't end it there. You walk into the room and you know you couldn't. You walk in here, this is the first wall you see. Couldn't hang it here. Could do there. I could finish it there, but not the best place. So, I decided to end it above the entryway. So, take a look at the pattern. It has not been trimmed yet. This was the piece I just hung, and you can see the seam here where the pattern breaks, the pattern breaks there, the pattern breaks there. But guess what? I'm overlapped about two inches. The room was wide enough that the beep panel that you're looking at overlapped the A. This is an A, and that's a B. And we're only two inches overlapped, which means a great thing. I'm just going to now join this and make it look seamless. Okay, I just put that up. That piece just went up. I'll show you what I mean when I get up there. So we're up above the doorway that I just showed you. Now here is what I'm talking about. This was the piece that I hung days ago. I left the edge open, just like that. I left it on the wall so that I could, I could take it off as necessary when I did my, my kill point. Now this is the piece I just hung, okay? So this is supposed to complement this, this piece here. Okay, there it is. This, you see that there, right there? That's all we gotta do is finish this off. What do you think? Would you rather I did this? Or the other way? What do you think? Would it be easier? To do it this way? Or this way. What do you think? Well, guess what? I'm liking this. What do you think? Do you agree? Now we lay this one down. What do you think? That's the way I'm going. That is the way I'm gonna do it. Okay, let me show you how we're gonna do this. We're first going to do a double cut using a straight edge. 
to eliminate this overlap. So I just spliced through it. And now we reveal our, our true seam, like what we gotta deal with, you know? So, let's see. What do you think? Hey, working with Kelly Wurstler, things could be a lot worse. Trust me when I tell you, this is a piece of cupcake, okay? This is a piece of cake. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Let's get this dry first. We gotta just make this match, that's it. See that? There's a few ways you can do it. Go to the pattern, cut this line out. Right? What would you do? Thank you. 
see that. Don't be intimidated by this stuff. Now I've used a black graphite pencil to fill in my black. I will paint that with chalk paint. I've just provided the outline for it. I can't paint as well as I can draw. And so I'm going to simply follow with wet paint the outline I've made with graphite. This is my B panel. That's my B panel I'm working on. You see that line there? I'm gonna cut it out from here. So, what are we looking for? These, that was just the right here was what I drew in over here, right? Right there. Now we got to get that line. You agree? I think it's this line right here. Let's put some paste on this. Could be a real pain, right? A real pain. What do you think? You agree? Let's cut this. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna go off camera and just cut it.
You know what's amazing? The gratifying feeling you get <laughs> when you do something like this. I caught a guy robbing a jewelry store once when I was a police officer in 1994. This is more gratifying than grabbing that kid after chasing him for a block. I kid you not. It's more creative. And certainly pays a lot more bills than being a cop fit. I can tell you that. This will stick to anything, including my graphite outline that I made yesterday. Now you might say, oh, this is overkill, Spencer. Um, well, that's the way I want to do it. So anyway, you notice that it's oil-based flat. Rarely, rarely do you see that. Okay, now you see the importance of the outline. And if you mess it up, you go right to your beige paint. I use my pinky to guide my hand. Right. Sort of just blend that in there. Okay, get the smaller brush out. I like to hold my breath when I do this. You know what I like to do as well? Watch this. Put some paint right here. Watch this. Turn, turn the brush around. This way, you don't have to use as much paint. And you get to control, control it, you know? As I was editing the video, I have to make mention of the fact that I have a little cold, so I hate sniffling during videos, but I tried to edit out the sniffling. Please just bear with it. The videos take a long time to make. What do you guys think? Folks, don't beat a dead horse, okay? That might be what you were saying already.
Think about it. This video might be on the internet for years, right? You know what's nice about this? Look at that. That's Kelly Wurstler. That's, that's the painter who painted that. So mine is consonant with that, the stroking. So I'm done, folks. I'm done. What do you guys think? Let me back up and show you from the floor. But I'll also show you up front because I want you to, I want you to be able to criticize if you're so inclined. Before I left, I saw, saw if somebody was thinking, hey, what about that? You know, sometimes I get people watching my videos and they tell everybody, slow it down, watch what he does here. Like criticizing me. That's all right, though. You know. The more criticism, the better. How's that? Okay, folks, you be the judge. Would you say good enough, excellent, perfect, or terrible? Sorry, the scaffolding is still in the room, but this is the best I can do. I don't own the house. <laughs>